since tea staining shouldn't take so long to uh, do on the windows, I'm going to venture out into this freaking cold weather and go to a uh, thrift store. Don't need the gowns anymore, but uh, I'm gonna go see what they got. Maybe they got something for the, uh, the holy water font and maybe something that I'll be able to use for the uh, luminary for the candle offerings. All right, check out, see if I can find anything. Nothing yet. I had a problem with the local Goodwill store. Never seems to have anything of quality. They got a ton of clothes there, of course. But the thing is, is everything's so freaking expensive there. It's like I see people go into their uh, local thrift stores and they walk out with like handfuls of stuff for like pennies. Mine is like, the store is like, everything's expensive. I'll just craft something of my own. It was suggested by Edie to uh, maybe use a plastic bowl and that could very well be the way to go with it. Uh, mount one on a, a piece of wood that I uh, decorate in some fashion. And that just might be the uh, best solution in the end, but I'll keep an eye out anyway. We got a couple of days before we uh, have to cross that bridge. Didn't find anything at Goodwill, but this is on my garage. Maybe I could just use this. <laughs> Paint it up and deploy that. It'd make a good holy water font, right? So I've done the black so far, staining different areas of it, trying to just create um, an aged area where I would think it would be most appropriate along edges, the lower edges, I don't think like an upper edge, like an upper edge of a circle would uh, get it as much as a lower edge of a circle. So I try to uh, target those areas. I'm gonna do the same thing to the second window.
So despite, like I said, my saying I wasn't going to uh, do much uh, aging on it, I did a crap ton of it. What I'd like, though, is for your honest opinion. Is this okay? And don't be afraid to tell me it looks like shit, okay? I prefer honest opinions. And I don't want to be have smoke blown up my ass or anything like that. So if you think I've done too much, if I, if you think it's, if I ruined it, <laughs> let me know. Tell me in the comments what you think about it. If you like what you see, Give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. You get more videos like this of me working on Halloween props every day. If you don't like it though, seriously, tell me in the comments section below the problems that you see. I want to know about it because that's the only way I'm going to improve. Be honest and thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing.